if you're just you know one two three years in the game as a web designer you're gonna have to do a few different things to kind of find your way and then when you find what you're really really passionate about and what people are really gonna pay you for then you can marry those two things together the future of your job it's not guaranteed at any point that company can say hey we cut in your department if you want to make six figures you have to be a design goal you have to know your craft you have to put in the time to learn what you do no man you gotta love this shit What's up? I'm Courtney Sargent Sr. and this is the Design Goat Podcast where I teach the art and the business of design. Now listen, we're at the top of the year. We're still in January. You probably made your New Year's resolutions already and probably at the top of that list is to make more money, right? You want to get more cheddar, more cheese, more cabbage, more lettuce, more dinero, more dollars, more fill in the blank. In 2024, you want to make more money this year than you did last year. That is a worthy goal. That is a worthy vision to want to accomplish. And so without a plan, you only have a dream. And so today I want to give you a plan. I want to give you some ideas that you can plug into your plan. And if you are a web designer or a web developer, this is the exact place that you need to be to learn how to make more money. Myself, I have been a web designer and graphic designer for nearly 15 years. I've personally designed over 100 websites. And I like to consider myself a design goat because I've been through the ringer of all of it. Any and everything that you can imagine to happen in this industry, I have been in there. I've, I started out as a code, a, a web developer. I started out writing code in HTML and JavaScript and CSS. I started out building WordPress themes and templates and plugins from scratch. Um, I started out coding websites from scratch and building websites from scratch. And then we had the the DIY um, website builders to come in and I perfected that. I've done it all as a web designer and web developer. Um, I worked in corporate America. I've had my own business, which I currently have my own business as a full time uh, designer, brand strategist and uh, web designer. I have an agency called Sergeant Branding Firm. You can learn more about it at sergeantbranding.com. All right. So if you want to make more money as a web designer, The number one way that you can do that is to have a job. (laughs) Uh, You know, this is probably, you know, probably not something that, you know, a lot of people would say. It's probably not the popular opinion, you know, but at the end of the day, like having a job is going to guarantee that you're going to, you know, make money. And if you want to make six figures, there are a lot. Let me tell you, there's a lot of jobs out there. If you have the experience that will pay you six figures as a web designer, web developer, a visual designer, um, an interactive designer, UI, UX. There's, there's plenty of jobs out there that'll pay you uh, six figures or close to six figures. Um, you got to have a lot of experience if you want to get a job making six figures like right on the nose or more. I know that I have that experience, but that's not the path that I chose later in my career. Now, early on, I did work as a web designer. Now that I think about it, I don't think I stayed at many of these jobs over a year, Um, but I'm always like I've always been on the move and I'm always looking for the next up. I'm always looking for the next level. And I've always known that every job I was at was a stepping stone to something greater and something bigger. And so you have to look at it as that as well. Every place that you're at, you're there for a specific purpose. Use that as a launching pad to your next and not just a lounge chair just to sit back and be comfortable, right? Don't be afraid to move where the opportunities are. Because as I mentioned, I lived in Mississippi and then I moved to Texas because I knew that's where the opportunities were. And it was important for me to, you know, make that move so that I can make more money, essentially. So that is the number one way. I know I spent a lot of time talking about that, but I feel like it's really, really important. And you don't have to get caught up in this be your own boss and be an entrepreneur and, you know, call all the shots because there's a lot of responsibility that comes along with being an entrepreneur and being your own boss. A lot of responsibility. So you got to be ready to, you know, what I'm saying wear those pants. You got to be ready to step into those boots if you're going to call yourself a boss. Um. So there's nothing wrong with actually working a job. And it's honestly the easiest way to get to six figures. It really is because that money is guaranteed. Uh, well, mm, I ain't gonna say guaranteed, but you know, you're going to get a paycheck, you know, most likely 
but your your future <laughs> as an employee is not guaranteed but you know every two weeks you're gonna get a check and so what i would recommend that you do along with working your job as a web designer is to also have clients have retainer clients that are paying you on a residual constant consistent basis so that you know this check from this job coming and i have clients and so some of the things that you can do as a web designer to have residual retainer clients website maintenance let me tell you something website maintenance is a sneaky money maker all right i'm man website maintenance is a sneaky money maker you can make you can rake up you can clean up <laughs> doing website maintenance because it's one of those things that everyone needs and if if they don't have it for their website and for their company their website eventually is going to mess up and then they're going to have to rehire somebody to fix it hopefully that someone will be you you know but you can have 10 15 20 maintenance clients and you can automate all of it you don't need to outsource the maintenance you just do a weekly check-in on all the websites and you just automate all the updates all of the check-ins you automate the performance you automate the security there's a way to do that and again on this show i'll teach you the art and the business of design and so that's a part of what i'm gonna do a video on too is you know how to automate website maintenance and clean up like you can make a, a lot of money you know i live in texas real estate here is booming and i pay my rent just from website maintenance <laughs> i'm not going to tell you how much it is but my website maintenance clients pay my rent every month and that money is guaranteed and it's not like they're paying me you know every client is paying a thousand dollars you know i have a, some thousand dollar clients i have um 250 250 dollar clients i shoot i have a hundred dollar client i think he pays 75 dollars but it every little bit counts but it's, it's one of those things that you can just set it and forget it because again it's all automated you don't really have to do a whole lot of work to maintain it but it's just working in the background so that website maintenance if you're not offering that i would stop everything that you're doing right now or not stop it but maybe pause everything that you're doing go back to all your clients send an email and tell them that they need website maintenance and you attach your pdf with the maintenance plans on there and i'll give you my pdf uh, just leave a comment and tell me that you want it and i'll give you my email script that i use too and boom you got you some new clients with residual money coming in another way that you can get to six figures as a web designer is with seo search engine optimization this is another sneaky one now i'm not a search engine opt optimization expert but i know for a fact that you can wake up with search engine optimization some of that can be automated as well. I like to have eyes on it just to make sure it's done right and it's done well. Um, I have some SEO clients and you know what? It's just that, again, that sneaky, quiet money that people don't expect. Any, any company or any personal brand or any entrepreneur who is serious about what they're doing, serious about their online presence, they want to be found on social. Especially local businesses, they got to be found on social, right? That's how people come into the shop come into the restaurant come into the you know to the store so that was this really big boom of running ads and doing search engine optimization for local businesses it's kind of died down a little bit I don't, you don't see as many ads for it it's definitely one of those sneaky sneak attack ways that you can make you know more money and that can that alone honestly can get you to six figures because search engine optimization is like the medical practice nobody really understands it which is why that you which is why you can charge a lot of money for it. really the whole website and marketing game is you know kind of like you know medicine it's kind of like you know nobody really the clients don't really understand all that goes into it and all of the details and all of the research that happens and all of the things that you have to do behind the scenes and so because of that their lack of knowledge they will pay you for your knowledge because people will pay for knowledge and people will pay for convenience and they'll pay for information and they'll pay for you doing something for them that they don't have to do for themselves because they don't even understand that shit in the first place. So SEO is another sneak attack way that you can get to six figures. Again, just have residual retainer clients on a monthly basis and you're just doing this stuff and you don't have to be the expert. You can outsource the SEO. Again, like I said, I'm not the SEO, SEO expert. I just outsource that shit to somebody else and automate what I can. So that's another way. 
along those same lines is website marketing. Um, mark, online marketing is an, it's not really like it's not really web design, but it's kind of like you know it's one of the branches. You know what I'm saying? Because to have a, a successful website, you also got to have online marketing. So clients these days don't just want a pretty website; they also want to be found online. They also want you know cutting edge marketing solutions. And so if you can educate yourself on online marketing, then you know, you're in the game and they'll pay you thousands of dollars for it a month. I promise you that. Again, I'm not the, I am a marketing expert, but not for other people. I don't, I do it for my businesses, but I don't, I don't do it for other people because that don't excite me in the morning when I wake up. I'm not excited about marketing other people's companies. I'd rather do it for myself. Another way is to get on Upwork. If you're just getting started, as a web designer, you, number one, your focus don't need to be to make six figures. Your focus needs to be to perfect your damn craft because you got to, you know, make sure that your iron is sharp, make sure that your axe is sharp and make sure that you know your shit. But in the beginning, I would recommend that you get on Upwork because you can get your feet wet and you can do a lot of different types of web design and web related projects um, from server maintenance to email management to, you know, website design, website building, website development, you know, user experience, user interface. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can do as a web designer and web developer online to to make money and specifically on Upwork because it's people from all over the world that's on this one platform looking for people like you with your skills. And so you can also rake up on Upwork, uh, but it takes a lot of diligence. It takes a lot of pitching, proposals, consistency, dedication, and it really takes, you know, a certain type of person that who, who's gonna go out there and get it. It takes a go-getter to succeed on Upwork. I'm not on Upwork. I've never been really great at Upwork, but I know that you can make a lot of money on Upwork because I pay. <laughs> <laughs> I pay a lot of, of money to Upwork, to freelancers on Upwork. So I know you can break up because shit, Upwork is an expense for me. So Upwork is definitely one of those uh, sites that you can get on there and you can make some good money. And then the last thing I'll say is you shouldn't rely on one source. You should do a combination of these things in order to hit that six figure mark. It's going to take you having retainer clients. It's going to take you building websites. It's going to take you having a corporate job, you know, maybe in the beginning to get to that six figure mark. Um, it's necessary to do multiple things. And, you know, if you have a job, you have to remember that, like I said earlier, your job isn't guaranteed. The future of your job is not guaranteed. You know, you're going to get a check every two weeks and you know it's going to come. But at some point, that job could phase out. At any point, that company could say, hey, we cut in your department. That's what happened to me. I was, a, I was a creative director at a tech company here in Dallas, Fort Worth, and I got cut. I got cut from the team, a whole department. They're like, we shutting down a whole marketing department, so none of y'all got jobs come tomorrow. And we're like, what the, f like what? You know, so that job is not guaranteed. So you have to do multiple things in order to have that financial stability and security that you need for yourself and your family. And the economy is rocky, man. The, 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 the economy in, here in, in the States is, is rocky. And so you have to do what is absolute best for you. You cannot depend on one source. You're going to have to do multiple things in order to really be successful. Uh, in order to, I would say in order to find your way and find your niche, and then you can double down on that and go deep with that. To, in order to reach success. So it really starts out like if you're just, you know, one, two, three years in the game as a web designer, you're going to have to do a few different things to kind of find your way. And then when you find what you're really, really passionate about and you're fine, you find what people are really going to pay you for, then you can marry those two things together and then you can make bank and you can find your success and hit that six figure mark. And the last thing that I would say is, is really a question. And I, I, I may have said it earlier, but do you really need to make six figures? I don't want you to get caught up into the algorithm of all of these gurus and online marketers telling you that how to make a million dollars a year and how to make, you know, 500000 and and $100,000 a year. You may not need $100,000 a year. It's, it's, you know what, like, it's, that's different. <laughs> Me even saying that is different, but you may not need $100,000 a year depending on what your financial, your, your financial situation looks like, depending on what your family situation looks like, depending on where you live in the country. 
In Mississippi, you don't need $100,000 a year to have a comfortable life. In Texas, yeah, you probably do, depending on, you know, where you live. In New York, for sure. L.A., for sure. You need more. You know, so it really just depends on your situation. So I would encourage you at the beginning of this, this new year to sit down and figure out how much money do I really need to live my ideal life, my paradise life. Whatever that is, write it down. Write down all your expenses and then write down all the income sources and then you can really figure out, okay, well, I don't need $100,000 a year. You know, you might find that $80,000 a year is, is good for you or sixty or 50000 is good for you. Again, it just depends on your situation. I hope that I said something to encourage you, inspire you, or to intrigue thought, to give you some strategies and some tips and pointers on how you can increase your income this year as a web designer or web developer. I've done it multiple times over and it's, it can be done if you believe it can be done. But it starts here, it starts in the mind and it, whatever you believe will be. Whatever you believe will be. I wish and hope that someone would have told me that a long time ago when I first got started as a designer. But you know what, I'm telling you and whatever you believe, it will be. It'll come to pass. If you believe that earning six figures a year is difficult, then it's going to be difficult for you. The universe is not going to work out for you. It's not going to work on your behalf because of your belief. But if you believe that you are worthy of earning six figures a year, which you are inherently, because you had the idea, you had the thought, you searched it on YouTube, you searched it on Core, you searched it on Reddit, on Google, and you're like, man, I want to make six figures. There's something in you that believes that you can make six figures, right? Or that it's possible to. So you just got to double down on that belief that it is possible. You are worthy of making six figures a year. If there's anything that I can do to help you or to, you know, help you get to your next level or to help you make six figures, please let me know. Um, if there's any way that we can collaborate or you're looking for work, just leave a comment below and let me know. If you have questions about something, leave a comment. If you found this video helpful, then just click that little like button and click subscribe on the channel and the bell icon and you'll get notified when I upload new videos like this. And please leave a review on iTunes because it helps the show get out there in a big way. All right, until next time, listen, you can be a design goat if you believe that you can be. I'm here to help you get there and you just gotta believe in yourself, man. That is the number one key to success, period. All right, until next time, let's make it better by going up together. Peace.